Want to run ads to your opt-in or to make a sale, but you only have a small budget? Today's video, we will be breaking down how to use ads strategically on a small budget. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell to get a notification when a new video comes out. I'm Alex, Facebook ads coach and sales funnel expert helping online entrepreneurs create freedom-based profitable businesses. Running ads on a small budget, you don't have the luxury of wasting money like Marie Forleo or Amy Porterfield. So we have to do this strategically. Step one, have an amazing freedom. Your freedom is the front door to your community and space. When you think about creating your freebie, think about the topic your ideal client absolutely desires and needs help with. Are you a fitness coach for moms? What about a downloadable guide that is a general meal plan they can use to lose some baby weight? Maybe you're a business coach that helps people create a six-figure business. Maybe you can create a free training for them that breaks down your step-by-step -step process of how someone can create a six-figure business. Step two is your ad copy and graphics. This is where everyone tends to get hung up on, but I want you to set that worry aside because I'm about to break down my formula I use to write all my ad copy and help my clients with. Now, first off, if you're a personal brand for the graphic, I don't want you to use a stock photo. A stock photo isn't going to sell you, you do. Use a picture of you. To write amazing ad copy, I want you to go by this step-by-step -step formula. Pain points, happy points, call to action. You can also do the other way around. Happy points, pain points, call to action. Now here's a quick example of ad copy that I wrote that got me less than $1 per lead. Step three, don't waste your money. I see this with so many business owners that are using ads. There are certain things that you can do in the ads manager to stop wasting money. First, stop boosting posts. When you use a boosted post, you are using Facebook's wasted space. When running ads, Facebook goes by what objective that you use. For example, if you're using conversions, which I actually recommend for you most ads, it will optimize to push the ads to get the actual conversion you want, like leads. When you boost a post, Facebook will push it only to get more likes, more comments, and more shares, which means your ad will be pushed towards a ton of different people, including people who aren't even your ideal clients. Another thing I want to talk about is that you want to use manual replacements. If you watch my video, Facebook ad strategies for beginners in 2020, I'll actually put the video in the card above and the description below where I will show you how to use uh, placements and how to change your placements. Using manual placements of like Facebook newsfeed, Instagram newsfeed, and Instagram stories will allow your ads to only be pushed to those areas, which is actually those placements are used for a lot of people to click ads on. Do you want to create your first profitable Facebook ad? I want you to go download my free step-by-step -step guide that has swipe files, templates, and tutorials to get you started. I'll drop that link in the description as well. Like and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And if you have a request for what I should talk about next, comment below to let me know. As always, good luck on your journey to success. See you on the next video.